Bert Talon 540, and uh, we're Godwin Robotics from, Hen from Henrico in Richmond. And this is our Bombini Bot software that we developed. Um, because as a robotics team, we find it really important to do community outreach and go to elementary schools and middle schools. And, you know, because one of the most powerful things you can do with knowledge is share it. Um, and so in order to be able to bring something with us when we go to these outreach events and go to elementary schools, we decided that it would be really helpful to help develop this. So we worked with one of our sponsors, Mind Sensors, and um, we developed this curriculum over the four or five years of time. And in, in, over multiple iterations, we ended up coming up with this. And it's really nice. Uh, if you wanted to talk to one of the other people here, we can talk about um, how they work and how it's beneficial and how they're useful. That's really great. So you developed it yourself along with one of your sponsors. This isn't something you bought off the shelf. No. So yeah, we we couldn't find anything that really meant what we wanted. Um, we wanted something you had to build, learn electrical electrical wiring, learn circuit boarding and word, learn um, the programming as well. And so we couldn't find anything that fit really nicely with that. So um, Talon 540, our team, contacted one of our sponsors and we said, hey, this is what we want. Um, and then they said, okay, here's what we can do. And we said, well, maybe this change. And you know, back and forth, design process. And eventually, we have what you see. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. So what do you think being part of this is going to mean for you and your future? Um, well, as of right now, what I consider on a day-to-day -day basis is just that it's a lot of fun to do. Um, in the future, I hope that this gives me, first off, it gives me a lot of experience coming out and talking to you guys. Um, and two, I hope that it'll hopefully look really good on uh, job applications. Uh, um, and then after that, I don't know. It just it gives me a lot of it gives me a lot of joy and happiness just to see little kids learning these things and enjoying all this stuff. We go out into the community and go to a lot of elementary schools and middle schools. And actually, what we have here, you can see on the computer, uh, we use a program developed by MIT called Scratch, and we modified it a bit. And using this program, we help this robot move around. Yes, it's very neat for elementary schoolers and middle schoolers to see something that they can make, and they're all surprised. They're like, wow, that's amazing. I did this. I can make this move. So you yeah. actually help the students develop definitely. their own program yep, using definitely. the software. Definitely, yep. So why did you get involved with this? Um, I'm a sophomore this year in high school, so I got involved last year, so it's my second year on the team. And why did you do it? Why did you get involved? Uh, I've been involved with FIRST and robotics my whole life, and this is something that I thought was a next another step for me to go into the robotics field or something engineering like. What we do is we just go to elementary schools in order to teach them about STEM and the way it works is that we allow them to build the robot themselves which adds a really nice hands-on experience for everything as opposed to some other store-bought items that are already pre-built for you and what we do is we take this program called Scratch if you would like to see it on this computer laptop behind you it actually shows the Scratch program and working with mind sensors we are actually able to modify it in order to add some programming elements that we would need that allows us to wirelessly control the robot via Bluetooth on from a laptop, which is really interesting. And in all honestly, honesty, um, me and my teammates, we're always on the same wavelength, so I'm not really sure if there's anything left for me to cover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was but, very good, though. Yeah, that, yeah. That, so the kids actually get to create it themselves. Yes, they do. And of course, they might hit a few road bumps because something about robotics is just like, when you show this to a little kid, they'll be like, whoa, that's scary. Can I really do that? But that's where we come in. We're like, yeah, you can. Just look at this. This goes here. And then what we do is we like to relate the parts of a robot to um, the parts of the human body. Like, the wheels are your legs. So if you wanted to go forward, what would you do? Take steps. So you tell the robot to take a few steps, it'll move forward. So making it very basic for them to yes. understand, so it's not just a bunch of numbers and it's not, symbols. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Exactly, okay, exactly. Great. Anything else you'd like to share before you show us how it works? So, and a, a very important thing that we like to express from our robotics team is that we're not just a robot. What we are, we're a family. We, li we basically live with each other for about six weeks while we're building the robot. We share each other's trials, and we're we're just a really happy family who goes through so many hardships that it's just worth it when we get to see our work come to fruit. For example, the Bombini bot, our actual robot during the competition, or any other off-season project that we may have. This is your skeleton. It gives your body rigidity. It gives your body structure, right? 
So then we move on to the motors, which are like your muscles. These cause you to move, these cause you to have strength, right? These cause you to be able to interact and have motion and move around. Um, then we move on, we have the central processor. This is like your brain. This is what sends signals to the rest of the robot. This is what tells your muscles to move. Um, and then of course, the motors interface with the wheels. Wheels are kind of like feet, kind of like shoes, right? They help you grip the ground, they help you move around. So when we teach our students, when we teach the kids we're working with, we like to have them first build it because that gives them the appreciation for what goes into it and what creates it. Um, and then Ojas is going to tell you about what happens when we try to program it. So um, as Andrew said, we like to equate everything to a body part. So one of the best things that we do when we program, as you can see on the computer, is that we try to talk, talk to them like they're the robot. So we're like, if you had to move forward, how would you move? And they say, we move a few steps. And then they correspond that to the program itself. 